Hello, gang. Going to start off today by saying thank you. 61,000. Every little landmark is is still really exciting to me. So I want to mention it. I want to say thank you. Thank you for watching every day. It's it's What's weird to me is it's July. The game has been out for a long time now. People still come back and watch the story of Thames. So thank you very much. Uh, run the intro. That was before the intro. I know. Mixing it up. Folks, welcome back to the episode of Thames FC. And the January period has passed, and Ben Hur is, is still here. The uh, transfer window in Brazil hasn't ended, though, has it? That's still ongoing. So they keep putting bids in, and they keep being rejected. And now we sit at the 3rd of March uh, with Millwall and Tottenham in the FA Cup 5th round to play a game that I think will be very difficult, but it should be entertaining nonetheless, and the Millwall game should be interesting too. Uh, since we last met then, it was a 4-3 win over Sunderland. Uh, Brentford and Wigan both beaten by a four-goal margin. Renato well to win, getting five goals in that, despite the fact that uh, the fact he's going to Marseille next summer or the, the upcoming summer. Uh, they played Leicester, who <laughs> beat me 3 0 and did it in a fashion that I'd not faced for quite some time. We had five shots in the game, pretty underwhelming. Our worst, I actually think we've lost games already this season. That's our worst performance of the season so far. Uh, and then about, about spot though, Middlesbrough, 1 0 win. Oscar Rowney with the goal, and he's a little superstar, I'll tell you. 1.3 million. You won't have known this, but when I was going to sign him, I was very 50-50 because it was 1.3 million. I was like, I don't know if he's worth it or not. Uh, but 13 goals, 16 assists, a 7.54. A fantastic, phenomenal season from him, actually, this season. Uh, as we take a look at the championship table, then you can see we sit on top of it. Six points clear of the Crystal Palace, Bournemouth. And, uh, I mean, those are really the only two contenders. Leicester are a little far away now. Uh, ben Hurst has 32 goals and he's back from international duty with a tight hamstring, so won't feature today. Uh, Oscar Rowney, as I say, 16 assists in there for him. Quite a lot of bookings for Robbie Edmonton. Yeah, they've been suspended a little bit uh, this season so far. Ben Hur then still demolishing the competition, 7.81. And interestingly, you remember he was a, he was with Brazil with the, the under-20s. You might be curious to find out how they got on. Well, they didn't actually win it. They lost 1-0 in a game. Ben Hur got the top goal scorer out of the competition, but they actually lost to Colombia, who uh, who ended up taking it. Brazil scored a ridiculous, and I'll show you this because it's, it's ridiculous. Brazil scored 44 goals in nine matches in this tournament. Four, I mean, didn't win it. Didn't win it. Columbia, 16, won it. Worth noting, though, Ben Hur, four man match performances and 13 goals in nine. So, proud of that, while he's still mine to be proud of. <laughs> right then, Millwall, the first game coming up for today then, and as Ben Hur is injured and unavailable, it, he, should, he could probably be forced to play, but I'm going to leave him for now uh, with this hamstring injury. I don't want to risk him, really, but I'm going to put him on the bench because it's just nice to have him back in the squad, really. Uh, Reed will be in goal then. Williams, Patterson, Edmund and Pierre will be at the back. Street and Casper in the centre, with Conan in behind Welter Wink. Rowney one side, Hutchinson the other, and a strong bench. Uh, Skeets there, we've got Old Sedal, K. Morris, Ash White, and uh, yeah, solid, a solid bench if we need it, as well as some of the players that aren't featuring today. The squad's looking good. Uh, Kevon Harris is, of course, out on loan, so let's just move him, Ben. Get him in the reserves. Okay, then, Millwall. Let's see how we do. It was a bit of a cooler day yesterday. Not today. <laughs> Not today. Right then, as we get closer towards the end of the season, these episodes will get a little bit closer together again. Uh, although it's a Friday, and traditionally, for you, as you will know, I don't upload at weekends. If we hit 1,500 likes on the video, I won't just do a video on Saturday, I'll do a video on Sunday as well. That's right, this series is hotting up, and I i mean, not just the weather, but the series, so uh, I want to get more episodes out. It's, a fun, it's fun, isn't it? It's fun! I just want to keep playing it. That's the real situation here, viewers. All right, as passionately said, I've got faith in them. Send them out against Millwall and see how we do at home at the Riverbank, so things are looking good. All right then, of course, it's in the 2D. We are shooting from right to left in this first half. Robbie Edmund, who gets booked in every game, has got a book in. And Bournemouth emerge early as contenders uh, to the throne here. 10 games to go, viewers. It's a good point to bring it. 10 games to go. 90 goals scored in 37 matches. We've been pretty dominant and a really good goal difference. For the first time, we have a capable defence, which is quite exciting. I've said capable defence, haven't I? I've, I've actually said the words capable defence. I actually said that. I, I, I heard myself say it. I looked back and thought, shouldn't have said that. A screamer from Alan Camacho. A screamer. Why did I do it? Why did I say it? Camacho, great first touch. Look at that. And then all of a sudden, just unleashes a goal. And Sam Reed can't keep it out. Capable defence. Right, a chance for us to build from the back, perhaps. As Pierre's got it at left back. Plays it towards Rowney, who's not the quickest. But what a ball from Pierre. Rowney, oh, he should have done more, really. Should have done far better. Ball's played in. Wow, great ball from Pierre, and my word, he should have done... Rowney, Rowney! Picking him up before the game as well. Let's see what's happened now. There's another highlight, though. We'll stick with this. Why Why, why not? As uh, Pierre finds Conlon, who looks for Rowney, who can't quite get on the end of that, though. But the ball's lofted forward, and Robbie Edmund deals for that. Deals with that breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as it's fired forward again, and he deals with it again. Casper 
Whoever finds Conlon, who so far is playing a little deeper than normal, but it's always worked out for me so far as uh, Pat Street is closed down. Conlon finds Renato well to wink. He finds Hutchinson on that right-hand side. He puts it into the back of the net. We've seen him do that before, and he's done it again. Matthew Hutchinson, I think in the last episode, in the, the January episode, he did that quite a few times. So back on level terms, half an hour gone, and uh, you can see it. So we get a little bit fortunate, a few deflections in there, but finally work a really nice opening. Well to wink there. Lovely ball towards Hutchinson. One touch, back of the net. Two goals, one, one. I am. I hope it. I hope it comes across. I hope you can see it. But I love this series. I've tweeted it out. I'm going to say it to you all now. It's my favourite series, and we're not even in the prem yet. This is my. This is my favourite series we've ever done. It. It really is. I feel. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just. I just love it. Rowney plays the ball in. Keeper saves. It, 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 there'll be people that will have enjoyed Palmer more. There'll be people that enjoyed Salford more. I know that. But for me, this is just. This is the series. I don't know why. It just is. I think it's the, this is the series that most feels like mine because I created it. I think that's that's probably what it is. And it's been a challenge. I think that's been a real nice aspect of this. It's been hard. Like, that's what I think's been fun about it. Like, having no reputation has been a real fun challenge. As Hutchinson, oh, he makes it two. Love that. Say a challenge. Two one up. We turned it round. They've, they've had very little in the game and we've, we've had shots galore. Hutchinson makes it two one, though. And uh, Thames take the lead as we go into the second half. You see a welter wink again. Lovely little three ball from him. Just pushes it through to Hutchinson, who again. Again, one touch and the finish. I mean, I want him back next year. I'll say it now. He's obviously on loan from West Ham. Whether we can get him or not might be a different conversation. And at half time, everything's looking good. Straight back out there. Let's do it all again. And of course, this will generate now an eight point gap with 10 to go. As I say, it's getting tight. It's getting closer. The gaps between games now will only probably be like one, maybe two. So things are hotting up, viewers. They really are. And I'm not going to lie. The, the idea of having a Premier League budgeted transfer window is. I'm starting to think about it, and that potentially is dangerous when you're 2-1 up in a match. <laughs> Pat Street, though, about 30 yards out. Slides it through towards Rowney. We get a little bit lucky. Conlon finishes it off. I think Rowney might be tackled here at the start of the, th the second half. Conlon finds the finish. Let's, let's take a look at it in three dimensions. So Pat Street's got it here. This is where it all began. He slides it through towards Rowney. Yeah, it's a slide tackle that Conlon follows up. Great anticipation from him, by the way. Experience shows. And uh, into the back of the net. 3-1. And that might even be game over at this point. Hutchinson corner kick to be played in. Cleared by Taylor, though, but he gets a second bite at it. Ball played in towards Pat Street, lays it off to Casper, gets it back from Casper, and finds the finish. Thames 4, Millwall 1. We've dominated a couple of games recently by four goal margins, and we're doing the same again today. 56 minutes gone, and Thames aren't done yet. Rowney into well to wink. Oh, it should have been five. I'm at field there. Pat Street 8.4, Hutchinson 8.8, O'Connor 8.4. They're all playing brilliantly. All right, 20 minutes to go. Uh, we're going to get Altadal on. Hutchinson's on a hat-trick, though, so it's a bit of a situation. We'll put him up front. Well, to can come off. We'll put Altadal up there. Let's see how he does in this striking formation with this system. I've not really played him there, to be honest. Camacho's in on goal for Millwall, though. He got the first read this time equal to it. It's a 22-minute period, and we scored all four goals, and Millwall haven't really responded. And there we go, then, folks. That should be that, and it is. Thames 4, Millwall 1, and that brings us to the end of, uh, of that game. 28 shots, 17 on target. I'd call that a dominant display, if you don't mind awfully, and... Uh, yeah, we'll do the team talk. Let's get assertively say, that was a bit of a let-off. Absolutely not. You played very well. Everyone seems pretty happy with it. And uh, we move on to Spurs then. Uh, at home, two Spurs. Probably going to be a sellout. I think Millwall was a sellout. But the FA Cup fifth round, it'd be a good game to try and win. Although, I don't think it'd be very easy. I'm actually wearing a Thames t-shirt. It's just occurred to me with the names of some of the players. It's soft. I like it. Increase the transfer revenue retained. Right then. Oh, 60% now. Good. I mean, financially... We might stay in the black for the rest of the season. We might do, which would be surprising, considering I thought we'd definitely be dropping into the red. Hutchinson going to Team of the Week at right back, which is not where he played. So, that's wrong, isn't it? Ah, Ronaldo Skeet has turned professional. Uh, he signed a two-year deal. Lovely. Welcome, Ronaldo. He's been, do you know what? he's been a really nice player to have to bring on. Having a young player with a bit of potential about him has been been enjoyable. 22 appearances, 11 starts, 11 off the bench. Had that run in the middle, of course, when we had an injury to Casper, wasn't it? So, um, yeah, 7.41 for someone so young. Fantastic little season. He's sort of been the natural replacement of Stevie Foster, I think, if we're being completely honest. He has got a release fee of 3.6 million. Uh, he wouldn't sign a professional contract without it. So, again, I love release fees, me, but let's say to higher division clubs. And if we're to get there, that's gone now. Unless they do it now. Oh, something exciting has just happened. Okay, right, this is live. This is this is exciting all of a sudden. Okay, we have our new intake of players, which is exciting. I'm just firstly going to make those players available uh, to play if they need the game time, which some of them do. Here we go. Is it a golden generation? Last year was the best we'd ever had uh, because our facilities have increased. This year, we... Okay, Terry Wordsworth. 
He apparently is very good. Uh, do we have a son? That's always interesting. No, we don't. Okay, here we go then. Uh, this is exciting. How good will Terry be? I, I don't expect much of you. So, okay, okay, okay. It's not a complete write-off, which is okay for me. It's, not a it's nice to have this sort of intake where it's quite average, but I can handle average these days. All right, let's take a look at Terry then. Oh, oh, he's not bad, you know. Good finishing. Decent acceleration. Mentals need lots and lots of work. A lot of work. Um, but yeah, is he like the next Michael Owen? No, he's not. Terry Wordsworth. There he is. Is he a Thames fan, actually? So let's take a look at that. No, he's not. He's not even okay. He's from the London area, though. So maybe one day he will be. That's not bad. Get him cheated. Get him, get him trained up properly. You never know. It's not quite as good as last year. It'll never be as good as last year. Ah, now Robbie Edmund is suspended. We spoke about this earlier on. It happens a lot. So Taylor can come in uh, to replace him. Edmund's going to have to step up completely. And Rob Turk can fill in on the bench. And uh, another change is going to happen as well, folks. Uh, ben Hur. Oh, dear me. He's back in the side. There we go. Uh, Reed will be in goal then. Williams, Patterson, Taylor and Pierre at the back. Street, Casper, Hutchinson, Codden, Rowney and Ben Hur. He returns up top. 32 goals in 27 matches. Can he get to 40? That's the question. Some people weren't sure they'd ever see Ben Hur in a Thames shirt again. Uh, I've just realised that this is a cup game and it won't apply to that 32 number. Great. Right, this is the Spurs team. Um, I don't recognise any of them, but they've got a B. Rogers. Ben Rogers. I was kind of hoping Brendan. Uh, Linda. Ah! <laughs> Real strikers. Okay, he's. Um, okay, yeah, he's. Ah, oh, these. They're they're, they're, they're going to try, aren't they? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. He was Scottish. Stuart Anderson, Scottish. He's, he's the best Scottish player of all time. I should know they've got another one here at Arsenal. And they've got... Look at the Scottish... Ronnie Shields, is it? Scotland! If Scotland never won some sort of international competition, I, I don't know what's happened. They didn't even get out of their World Cup qualifying. How didn't they? Look at the goal scorers, all of the good ones. All right, this isn't a Scottish national team review. This is Thames versus Spurs at the Riverbank for a chance. I think it's the quarterfinals. My first chance of the game is uh, is going Spurs' way. Just occurs to me, viewers, that because of how we're doing in the league, I start on attacking, and if Sam Reid's making saves like that, we will continue to do so. It's a corner, but, I mean, I've, I've played before. All right, I, I probably shouldn't be on attacking here, but, oh! I take it back. Rowney, he's on it. Plays it into Ben Hur. And this could be the first chance for us in the game. Rowney goes forward. Conlon. We're, we're, we're one nil up against Tottenham. We're one nil up. A bit of a mistake at the back for them defensively. It was a bit of a shambles on this near side. I wonder if they'll show it. Like, he keeps the ball in. Rowney's thinking, thank you very much. I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. Ben Hur on it, though. This little, oh, that little pass from Ben Hur. You don't get that from your normal striker. Conlon sweeps it in. The experience of him. And 1 0 to Thames. Now, I'm going to level. I think we'll still get beaten here because I've just seen their squad. But this is a good start. And if there's one thing I love you is, it's an upset. I'm staying on the front foot, though. We're going we're gonna to stay attacking, because as much as I think they're dangerous, so are we. So are we. Pierre's got a throw in. As, uh, he finds the feet of Conlon. Up to Ben Hur. If there's one man I trust to keep the ball, it's him. Finds Pat Street, whose ball out wide isn't quite good enough. And uh, we've got to make sure we look after the ball nicely here. We give it away, though. Casper still gets it back, though. A little fortunate. Conlon towards Ben Hur. Take it off him, though. I don't think the ball between him was particularly good. And now Lindman brings it forward. Ball to the back post. Off the bar. Cleared by Taylor. Okay, we're not going to be quite as attacking, I don't think, for the rest of this first half. I don't want us to be too open or susceptible to that essentially. That said, it's a chance for them here, but Pat Street instead gets involved, and now Conlon finds Hutchinson. The ball to Ben-Hur could be the killer ball. Casper plays it to him. Ben-Hur for 2-0 Thames. Oh, Ben-Hur! It's 2-0 Thames! We're beating Tottenham. Bear in mind, as we beat Arsenal quite comfortably this season. We're now giving Tottenham the run around. I mean, North London's blue boys, and we don't even come from around there, really. Ben-Hur played through, and he just finishes it off so calmly. The Spurs fans behind the goal are devastated. The, go the guys in our fantastic new stand are looking happy. My word. Half an hour gone. Who saw this coming? All right, Spurs are working it quite neatly from back to front here, although can we get it off them as uh, Lindman sort of squares it up a little bit. Oh, shot comes in off the bar again. We're a little fortunate. I think they would work twice now. This is enthralling football, folks. I'm enjoying this. It's a free kick to us. Hutchinson plays it in. Back post. Comes out to Casper. Oh, my dearie me. Oh, they didn't see it coming. It's like he's a ghost. What's it? We were 3-0 up against Spurs. And we've unleashed a, a bolt from the blue, quite literally. It's headed to Casper, who just first time. Oh, my God. It's another free kick. This could be another one. Hutchinson. It could have been four. It could have been four. What has got, on, got into us against these, like, big Premier League sides? City wasn't successful, was it? But the rest of them, I mean, come on. Out oh, bloody rageous. At half time, Thames 3, Spurs 0. 
Oh my words. I can't believe it. Pasha, you say, very happy way things are going. Keep it up. Of course, that's what I'm going to say. Keep it as is. Change nothing here. Now, it's just occurred to me, viewers, just as we've kicked off there, I've not bottled it in quite some time. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, that's all I'm going to say. And I don't think we're going to today. Be, be bold, Betty boy. Be bold. Rowney's got an injury. There's the start of it. All right, he looks okay, though. I don't know what sort of injury it is. It's a thigh injury, which is never particularly good, but he's having such a good game. And the time, I've got to say, is ticking away here. He's got a bruised thigh, potentially 20 minutes to go. And I'm not going to make any changes until at least 80 minutes, because to concede three in 10 minutes is difficult to do. So as we as we continue forward, it's at this point now that um, he wants to come off. He's even said that at the top. That works out well for us. I'll tell to come on then. Uh, we're going to put him as an inside forward on attack. And Ronaldo Ski, is he going to come in for, Pet, for Pat Street? He is very good on the ball. For his age, he's extremely calm. And this sort of game is a, is a nice environment to be able to put him in to. We're going to beat them 3-0 with the quietest second half you've ever seen in your entire lives. It's game over. It's Thames 3, Spurs 0. A highlight in the second half. I couldn't have asked for any better. We go forward in the FA Cup. Unbelievable. Passionately say, I'm proud of the performance out there. Well done. That would that, be good for the money as well, even though we're at home. That's ridiculous. I can't believe what I've just watched. Arsenal, bring them to me. Bang. Get, to top, get out of it. Top them. Oh, I'm just slapping them around, folks. Uh, Hutchinson's injured then. Six to ten days. So we'll miss the Cardiff game. As will Oscar Rowney. Okay, both of them unavailable, which isn't ideal. And uh, we're to play Liverpool in the next round, which is not easy. Quarter final game. I think we'll get we'll team it with a league game and, and an FA Cup game. So that'll be uh, in a little while, will it? When does that happen? Okay, yeah. So there's two games in between that. Cardiff and Fulham. Uh, so, oh, there's a Bournemouth game. Maybe it'll be the three then. And then Liverpool-Bournemouth. I think that probably makes the most sense. That's what we'll do. Um... There we go then, Casper. What a strike from him. I'll praise him as much as I can and uh, a press conference that I will actually be doing, so I'm going to leave that for now. 194,000 uh, brought into for winning that FA Cup game. And what a performance. What an episode. Millwall and Spurs, two London teams beaten, put to the wayside. Uh, very enjoyable sellouts in both games. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, remember, leave that like. We'll get some videos up over the weekend and we love with care from Windows Bridge. Until next time, I'll see you again very, very soon. Oh my God. Oh my God. I told you, it's my favourite save. It's my favourite save.